Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scarborough Country, the Virus Edition, aka the Pandy Pods, aka Two Bros No Garden Hose, aka Two Jews No Rod Carews, aka Two Bros Two Big Noses, aka One Salmon Couchy, Two Big Fans Still of Anthony Fauci. And we uh, got more. We got more from Mike Huddleston. Uh, the amusing mistake and shame dangers of those opposing lake name changers. That's from last week. Jeez, this guy. Helping to subside. Uh, uh, let me get this. Helping to subside a trying blight with an unidentified flying white fish. We got that already. All right, guys. Look at us. Here we are. Here we are. It is now Monday, so we've made it through the weekend, although we're recording this the Thursday before. And fires have befallen us. Mike. I hope this is an end of days up to our friends up in San Francisco, Derek Lipkin, uh, Frankie, Jody. Stay safe, guys. Keep Stay that inside. Baby. Don't let the red skies at night. Our friends up in Oregon, d- just, just stay safe. This is end of days times, and we want you to be just be as comfortable as you can, but do not go outside if you don't have to. Uh, to everybody else, please wear a mask. Please stay safe. Let's jump into this right now. Oh, okay. All right. Without even talking to them, I can tell you with confidence that there's one thing wild animals don't want. And even if you could talk to them, you probably wouldn't be able to extract an answer. No, but I mean, you could talk to them. Yeah, I don't know that you'd hear anything back. But, but you can gather without ever even getting the answer. Something from. that a wild an- the thing a wild animal wants the least is to be captured or enclosed. They want to roam free. Yep. I'm not talking about dogs. And I would say a large portion of cats. Some cats, but birds, squirrels. The guy who thinks that if he feeds a squirrel and then that he can take that squirrel, that that's his pet. Yeah, take that squirrel into your basement for like five minutes. And then- Go out and run some errands and come back an hour later and you see how trash the place yeah, is. Yeah, he's going to trash the place like a hooker on meth and yeah. then take a dump on the middle of the rug. Like a hooker on meth. He may bite you. Like a hooker on meth. He probably has rabies. Like a hooker on meth. And while you think you own him, you don't. Like, like a, a hooker, hooker on meth. meth. That's a squirrel as a pet, guys. Hooker on meth. Hooker on meth. Now, bears... Bears are not your pets, and I don't think anyone is confused about that. Bears do not want to live in cages. They're not your. They're not your buddies. Like, yeah. Go watch the Grizzly Man again, and That's you'll right. go watch. Uh, what's his name? Have to listen to the audio. Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog. The audio of, of a, a guy man. getting destroyed by a, a grizzly bear. He thought he was friends. The grizzly yeah. man thought he was friends. You with thought the you were bear. feeding him, and they were cool. That no, you are dinner to them, dummy. They want. They don't want to ride many bicycles. Mm-hmm. They don't want to stand on their hind legs on, on command. command. They want to rub their backs against trees. They, they want, want to eat fish jumping out of a lake. And they don't want to deal with a human being telling them what to do. They don't want to be captured. All right? We've hammered this point home on this show. But animals, wild animals, with the retreat of man through this pandemic. Are feeling their royal oats. They're sowing the royal oats. They have, they're, they're coming out into it. the world. They're coming out the way they should. They're it's fe- beautiful in They have ways. the upper hand in so many ways the way it used to be. This, this, is, is, this is like the best time ever yes. for the animal kingdom. And this story proves... Proves in the most ironic way ever what we're what we're saying. Okay, a brown bear dubbed Papillon, after repeated escapes from its enclosure in Italy, was recaptured 42 days after its most recent escape. First of all, and my French isn't great, but Papillon means butterfly. butterfly. It's a butterfly in French. Why would you name a bear butterfly? That's that. It's like the old TV show BJ and the Bear. Right. They called him a bear, but he was a monkey. I guess that was good. It felt wrong though. It to felt the core, every it felt time. Wrong. It felt like it was wrong. Unless the bear identifies as a butterfly, then I guess we'll, we'll allow, allow it. it. We'll allow it. We'll allow that. But naming your bear, the French word for butterfly, has no significance to the bear. It, it just looks like you don't know what you have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what is in front of you. And the animal Italian that's there. Bear too. Yeah. Call it the Italian name for a butterfly. I don't know the Papillon, Italian Papillon, a four-year-old male bear officially known as M49. That's a better name that's than a, Papillon. I guess. The Sounds bear like doesn't highway care. highway in England. Escaped from its enclosure at the Castellar Wildlife Park in Trentino, Providence, Province, uh, July 27th, by climbing over three electrified fences and breaking through a barrier of metal bars. So then I ask you now, knowing what we know about what he did in his escape, did he want to be there? Bears willing to climb three electrical fences. And break through a metal barrier of bars. Get shocked to yeah. his effing core. That's right. So, by the way. No. The butterfly doesn't want to be there. It wants to fly the away. The butterfly wants to leave. So to maybe break out of name. the cocoon. Right. 
and maybe not be called a butterfly for your freaking amusement From anymore. another language. Yeah. Authorities tracked the Bruins movement. I love they called him a Bruin. Bruin. Uh, in the wild, and it was captured in a live trap, live trap in the Ligoria area, uh, area of Trentino province. The bear was on the loose for 42 days. 42 days. Do you they, think that bear at like day 36 was like, like, I did it. I got it. I got, I'm, I'm out. out. I'm out, bitches. I got I'm away done. from these jerk offs forever. Nope, nope, didn't. Then boom, live trap, back to being misidentified as a butterfly. Who, who cannot, can't fly away. Who cannot fly who away. can't fly away. Papillon, named after the French protagonist, uh, the French writer Henri Chari. Chari? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting that wrong. Autobiographical, no- autobiographical novel about his famous prison escape. Yeah. Papillon. I'm sure the bear appreciates the literary reference, having never read the book, or even if you read it to it, it would never know. Naming pets, by the way, is only for the owner. It's not, That's the animal it. doesn't care. The animal, animal does, does not know. care. It is your uh, virtual animal style vanity plate. That's it. It's just You're like, you. look at how creative I can be with the name I got for this thing. It was captured in good health. I guess that's good. The provin- the provincial government said Papillon had lost about 88 pounds during its time on the loose. Yeah, because he was in his natural habitat. Running what? around, moving around like a bear moves around. Getting off the baby fat. Not eating Carl's Jr. or whatever the hell you've been feeding it. It was lean and mean. That's the way a, a, a bear, bear should be that way. They climb trees, yes. man. So apparently losing 88 pounds allowed the animal to slip free. This is amazing. Of its radio tracking collar in recent weeks. Yeah. He wanted that thing off so badly that he went to like bear Jenny Craig. That's right. And he dropped her out. Which, by the way, how is this show not sponsored by Jenny Craig? Jenny Craig, if you're out there, you need to sponsor this show. We are the literally the after and the after of we're, this. We're Johnny Craig's. Johnny Gay. Call us Johnny, Johnny Craig, Craig over, over here. here. Not eating any carbs. They know. They're, actually, they allow you to eat some Yeah, carbs. exactly. Uh, they, they know. The bear knows what weight it should be at. Am I right? Like that bear. Remember that bear who went to the convenience store in yeah, Kings in Beach? Kings in Lake, Beach. Lake Tahoe, which is where, like the convenience store you go to. Not that we go to, but it's like Nearby. three miles away. I know where that convenience store is. I've been there before. He went in the store. Went to the store. Shopped around. Got a bag of corn chips. A yeah. two liter bottle of Coke two Zero. Two liter bottle of Coke Zero. The bear was returned to Casteller, which I'm sure he was psyched about, where officials said work is underway to strengthen the enclosure and prevent future escapes. I'm sure that's going to make Papillon happy on. Officials say the bear caused some minor property damage during his time in the loose. Good. But is not believed to have had any violent encounters with humans during his time in the loose. Of course yeah, not. Because it doesn't want it doesn't it, want to it doesn't be care about people. human beings. Like the time it gets in a, a human's face is when it's hungry. Or a human is in his area. It's like Ian Edwards, our Ian friend. Ian Edwards old comm- bit about how there are there is no such thing as a shark attack. That's no. what Ian Edwards said. When you're swimming down there, you're in their living room. You're That's trespassing. Right. You're trespassing in their house. They have every right to stand their ground and bite your freaking leg off. Papillon had previously escaped twice in 2020. Uh, officials said he was recaptured from a previous escape. And he's the escape artist. That's it. This and, bear knows how to get out. And the bear escaped again only hours later with a female bear from the park. So now he's taking ladies out. That's right. You, know, you want to go out them. on a date? You want to go out on a date? Yes, my name is Papillon. And yes, that is emasculating. But let's go. Uh, to quote the movie Frozen, and I don't do this often, let him go. Yeah. Let it go. This quote is the worst, and this is why this next quote, and this is why they need to let him go. Quote: The problem is he's too wild and has a strong instinct to return to the forest. You think? Why is that a bad thing? I'd say animals have a strong instinct to live. Yeah, to live the way they were meant to live, not, not in an enclosure next to a fucking gift shop. Why is that the bad thing? Why is that the problem? Why do you identify that, that as the problem? That he wants to go back in the wild. That's exactly, a, this is exactly the reason the Tiger King and those home zoos need to be abolished. Let, let, let's take a moment here and just This is a moment in our history, all right? We've said this so many times about this specific moment in the world's history. Let's this reevaluate pandemic. right now. We can reevaluate everything in our lives. We're finally starting to take a look at race inequities and yep. the issues in this country that upon the, which gender is gender inequality. Let's how the, look, look at, at the way the way cops are policing. We have a moment right now. Mascots for teams that are coming off as racist. This good. This is a moment. Let's look at zoos. Okay, in the same light. Look at them as the imprisonment of animals. Do, do we, we need, need zoos? Do we need them? Why, how about this? If you're someone who's like, hey, I live in Cincinnati and I'm never going to see certain animals up close because I'm never going to get to go to Africa. I understand that a little bit. So why don't we, here's my So we proposal. have a different way to look at the zoo. Let's re, 
It's not saying defund the zoos. We're saying this is a different way to Let's look at the zoos. Let's use zoos in a different way. We could use zoos. How about this? Is animal recovery zones. I love this. Zoos can rehab sick and injured animals. And then when they get better and strong enough, we release them back into the wild. Or something smarter and better than that. We're not smart enough to figure this out. But maybe it's time to look at the system and make the system better. Zoos can be like celebrity halfway houses. That zebra has a ketamine addiction. Let's put him close to those fake rocks until he dries out. And, and then, then release him back in the Serengeti. Halfway house. Halfway house. Give that orangutan some chores to do so he isn't so depressed. Make that chimpanzee over there his sponsor. Look Boom. at that. He's been but here for a while. We're making deals right now. And then we feel like we can drop him into the rainforest. Boom. New zoo. Done its job. Dr. Drew. He could counsel like a giraffe with a drinking problem. I love it. I lo- I'm on board. I'm so on board with this right now. I like the idea of zoo as like the zoo. Zoo, zoo is animal rehab as a rotating place to get animals healthy and then back out into the wild again, which is where they should be all along. So maybe we'll lose some zoos along the way, or I don't know, maybe there's enough animals in the world, or maybe we lose some of the animals that we have at our zoos. Maybe yeah. our zoos constrict a little bit. I have an idea. Why don't we put everyone who's been a dick on like a city council yeah. Zoom call and put them in enclosures. Yeah, we can watch them walk around. We can around. watch them walk around all get day. Get their mail, get their be, emails. How great would that be? I'm all, I, I'm, I'm 100% I would watch that. on board. Human zoos. Human zoo. Just an idea, just a thought. There's our first story down in the books. Boom. Oh, baby, oh, baby. We have an update on the other side of this break from rapper Kodak Black, who is in jail on dr- on gun possessions. Yes. We're going to give a little backstory to how he got there and what else was going and on. And what it has to do with Rosh Hashanah. Oh, my God. And the, the high, high holidays, holidays are approaching. Coming around. And this guy puts the high in the high holidays. Well, some Kodak Black, we got your back on the other side of this break. This is Sklarbro Country, the virus edition. Stay with us. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Want to mention, of course, uh, it's Monday. I didn't check the uh, ticket counts today. Did you know where they were? Uh, three eighty-five and- tickets sold. Three hundred eighty-five went up t- about at eleven tickets. Yeah, yesterday. so three hundred eighty-five. My guess is by uh, Monday when this thing drops, probably about four hundred tickets will have been sold. Maybe a little bit more. So get on it right now. Get your tickets for the Live Down People Town September twenty-sixth Saturday night. We got your plan on Saturday night. It feels like going out. You can be in the comfort of your own home. Order some food. Drink some wine, hang out, watch it on your TV, screen mirror it. It's really going to be fun. Mike Berbiglia, Mike Doty from Soul Coughing, live down People Town. It's going to be a blast. 6.30 p.m. is when it starts. We do a little meet and greet ahead of time with some of the people. who There's still some VIP meet and greet pre-show uh, add-ons left. All the uh, post shows are all sold out for the VIPs, but there's couples and group tickets and Ticket Plus left So uh, and a little bit of GA left. So check it out. Go to event, eventbrite.com. Look up Live Down People Town September 26th. Mike Berbiglia, go do that. Uh, also, our uh, YouTube page. We're going to be putting up uh, Cheap Seats episodes. You can remember how great that show was. Um, and I hope you enjoy those. And just remember uh, what a quality show that was. Yeah, it cannot be uh, recreated. Right. All right. Shall we uh, jump into this next story? Let's do it. Okay. okay. Uh, we got news from the rap game, as we mentioned before, rap world, and it involves incarcerated rapper Kodak Black. Now, I don't have to tell Jace new Kodak Black. No, you is. don't. Or people who listen to this podcast, like Old Zealand or Sarah Dunn, they know, or Stephen Elton Yates. Those guys know who Kodak know, Black is. They know. I'm actually positive Derek Lipkin, who is a rap connoisseur, he's knows. Pro- he's probably played pinball with Kodak Black and like at dropped some, some free freestyle raps at them. some point. But for the rest of you who maybe don't know who Kodak Black is, here is a little bit of a refresher course of who he is and what ha- and what has happened to him. What happened to him? Okay, so Kodak Black. Was pissed at Walmart. I mean, who isn't these days? Right? Walmart. I feel like Walmart is a place where people go to be in public and not wear a mask. Yeah, Walmart is a place where people who work for the who used to work for the Tiger King get contaminated meat for their animals and, and pe- for themselves. And people are running over other people's feet in jazzies and getting sued for it because nobody can make a mistake anymore. It's a shit show at Walmart, so it makes sense that Kodak Black would be at Walmart and be pissed at something. But he's not mad at what because you would of think. all yeah. of what we just described. He's mad because of something else. Kodak Black is mad, claiming that the megastore is letting someone sell knockoff versions of one of his most famous chains that he wears. Chains. And he's threatening a lawsuit that if it didn't stop, uh, if they didn't stop doing it, but the giant retailer uh, puts the blame on, of course, 
a third party seller. Now we've seen this before where this a third party before. seller yes. makes a racist t shirt. And then a, Walmart's just like, hey, we, hey man, we have these we third sold party. Them. We're so big, we can't even, we have no idea. And so, by racist t shirt, we mean make America great again yeah, t shirts. Exactly. Right? Kidding. kidding. But are we? Uh, so this happened. Here's the deal. Walmart is getting dragged online because the website features a cheap chain that looks nearly identical to the sniper gang bling Kodak Black usually rocks. And again, I don't have to tell Jay it looks like the sniper gang bling. You know the sniper gang bling this guy sports. I live it. Of course. Kodak's attorney, Bradford Cohn, of course, Chew. tells TMZ, we have been aware of the situation and prepared to cease and desist a cease and desist letter to Walmart. And the seller on the Walmart website. I love and then the TMZ, the higher level people turned around and yelled at younger female employees. That's right. That's because that's what they do. I love that a rapper can claim that a chain he wears is intellectual property, right? That feels right to me. Go after why. Walmart, Kodak. Go get them. <laughs> Roll back the prices on those bitches. The rapper's legal team adds, if Walmart refuses to recognize that this seller is not a licensed and it doesn't have licensed authority to, to sell the Sniper Gang products, we will be proceeding with a lawsuit against both Walmart and the unauthorized seller. You're Take both, them both down. Both going down. I love that Walmart was like, yeah, we got your knockoff Sniper Gang here right next to the motor oil. This it's, is like the It's old like head. the sliced cheese at CVS. Where's the sliced cheese? Uh, you sliced cheese? It's yeah. over next to the Ace Bandages and the hemorrhoid pillows. No, no. I think it's by the crutches and the antifreeze. Really? Because yeah. I thought it was over the sliced cheese was between the copper tone and the greeting cards. No, it's by the old candy Easter eggs and the shaving cream. That's where it is. I think the yep. sliced cheese is over by the rice cakes and the pancake mix. No, it's by the pinworm medicine and the tile grout. Oh, really? That's last time, See, the last time I was in CVS, I saw the sliced cheese by the makeup and the baby Tylenol. Weird. Because I saw it over by the styrofoam coolers and the blood pressure pills. No, no, no. It's over by the batteries and the suppositories. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Over there. Yep. Just like the knockoff sniper gang chains at Walmart. They're next to the luggage and the pork loins. Or the stationery and the mountain bikes. Here's here's what you do to keep the the knockoff sniper. What, what do you got to do to keep the knockoff sniper gear Kodak black chains away from people. Did you well, you put them over by the ladders and the CD towers. All That's right, what you do. Head, you hide them in a place where people aren't going to be looking. Just head to where you see a woman giving bre getting a breast exam and then just make a right. Go to the diabetes socks. That's <laughs> Get them from over there. Look, I, I don't. I, I don't. We don't know. know how this lawsuit came out. Did they throw a cease and desist? I have no idea. We don't know if it actually worked. What we do know is that Kodak is in the middle of serving a forty-six month prison sentence for gun possession. That's a big prison sentence for gun possession. And while in prison, he has been doing some religious soul searching. Yeah, that's the guy who walked down the street with a gun and shot people might not get 46 months. This guy got 46 months. Kodak Black is praying for more than just a release from prison because he says he can't get access to a rabbi to practice his Jewish faith behind bars. Now, does that seem... I don't know. I can't under... I, I want to know, and this is what can we're Can we claim the patty cake man himself as I one of the know. tribe? Do, I, can we do that? I guess we can. So his attorney, Bradford Cohen, again, you remember Bradford Cohen, Jew. says TMZ is ramping up to file a lawsuit if his client doesn't get... Says to TMZ, he's ramping up to file another lawsuit. This guy is just... All he does is file lawsuits. Because he just... If this guy can't get a consultation, Kodak Black, with his personal rabbi, or any rabbi at this point, any rabbi... What about Modest Yahoo? I, I don't know think he's, he's a Jewish rabbi anymore. anymore. But come he's on. Jewish. I don't think he's uh, orthodox. He stopped being orthodox. Cohn explained the uh, rapper identifies What's his with name, the like Mark Miller. I don't know that Matt he Miller. identifies Matt Miller with the uh, faith, even though he is yet to convert. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's. I'm sure he'll get through the rigorous conversion process. By the way, easily. to convert to Judaism, they tell you no three times. So you have to basically again, say, "I want to convert to Judaism." They're, they're like, like no. "No, I want to do this." No, nope, nope. we don't want you. I want to do this. No. Nope. Nope. Then you come back and say, I really, 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 I, everything you're saying, I still want to do this. And they're like, okay. Because okay. they want to so make sure you're serious. If you that. are a famous rapper, there you don't have a no man in your posse. So so now Judaism is going to tell you no three times. You expect this guy to get through that process no and still be way. there? No way. I'm oh. sure he's going to get through it. All right. So he claims that the feds have gone radio silent on his effort to con to basically contact or connect him with his quote unquote Go-to rabbi. I love that Kodak Black has a go-to well, rabbi. Is it Kodak Black's go-to rabbi or is it Cone's go-to rabbi? I don't know. I think it's Cone's go-to rabbi. A rabbi on speed dial anyway? We, we have a couple rabbis we like. Yes. Your rabbi is like awesome. My current rabbi, Rabbi Sharon Browse, she's Amazing. incredible. 
I will tell you that we do have a go-to preacher, Dr. Reverend uh, Christopher Stackhouse. He's on the speed dial. The Reverend Doctor. The Reverend, the good Reverend Doctor. We are covered on that front. If yes. we ever need anything from that air, from, that, from that, that area of religion, we, we got, got it. it. We got it. So it makes sense to us that you would have a Get go-to. Get Kodak Black his rabbi. Get him a rabbi. Rabbi Stad. I was going to call him Rabbi Stackhouse. Reverend Rabbi, Dr. Christopher Rabbi. Stackhouse is our go-to reverend. That's it. He's our go-to reverend. We don't, need any, we don't need another reverend. No. And before high holiday services, can we get Kodak Black before the high holiday service? They're Please. coming up fast I on said, the 18th. This guy puts the high in high holidays. Whew. They're fast approaching and the fast is fast approaching. Okay. Period. This guy needs counseling. If nothing changes, Cohn says they'll be suing for a violation of Kodak's First Amendment right to practice his religion. Even though technically it's not his religion yet no, because, because he, he hasn't, hasn't converted, converted but, but open arms. Hey, we're here for arms. you, buddy. We are here. He admits that uh, the chaplain at Kodak's facility in Kentucky recently emailed to say face-to-face spiritual meetings uh, and meetups will be temporarily axed because of COVID. That makes sense. But however, but Cohn phones? says the chaplain also said phone calls with the rabbi shouldn't be an issue. What about FaceTime? FaceTime with, face the, rabbi? with yeah. the rabbi? Well, from on what the- device? I don't know. What device is he going to FaceTime from? I wonder if Cohn got him the rabbi. Is that too uh, much on the giant a, hook nose there? I don't think so. That's your That your Jewish... Lawyer referred, referred you out I think to a rabbi. Go, I think the go-to rabbi belongs is, to Bradford Cone. Is Cone's go-to rabbi? That's what okay. I think. And if you're wondering why Kodak is so adamant about getting access to the rabbi and a Torah, we're told that he thinks it will help with his mental state. What's his angle, Jay? For I real, know. I know he's I saying know. that publicly. Why does he think a rabbi coming in? How does it help him get out of there? I don't know. So this is what our friend, our good friend, Amy Mann, the fantastic singer, she's, she always says this, and I think it's so smart. She's like, what do people want and how are they trying to get it? You have to identify what does Kodak Black want and how is, is getting he, a rabbi. He's using Judaism as the tool by which he can achieve his goal. Well, Kodak believes that God has a plan for him and wants to talk it out with a pro. God's plan. Talk it out with Drake. Yeah. God's plan. God's, God's plan. plan. What if Kodak Black rewrote all the songs of the Shabbat morning service to be more okay, current? So did he did versions of them? So here's the deal: he we beca- talk about Judaism all the time as like, you know, there's something beautiful about the ancient text. language. There's something beautiful about passing stories, down. passing stories down from generation to generation. There is something beautiful about the way you know these are. It's a different language with different characters in the alphabet. It's a whole different mm-hmm. thing. Okay. So to really get access to what's going on and really dig in, you got to learn a new language. You learn a new I language. think that is amazing. I think it's beautiful. I do think if it got like a Hamilton update and maybe Kodak Black, Kodak is the Black guy. if he wrote it and did versions of it, he becomes so popular. He recruits tons of Jewish youth to become more religious just because they're into the tunes. That would be so great. The tunes. That, I like Think that. of how many people like Broadway after Hamilton. That's all I'm going to say. The yeah. Bureau of Prisons declined to comment on Kodak's specific situation, but assured us and assured TMZ that uh, it goes to great lengths to accommodate inmates' religious beliefs. I'm guessing there aren't a lot of guys in that jail, and I'm just guessing who are begging for a rabbi. Maybe. Maybe there's some. Maybe there are. Maybe there's a mass yeah. wave of Jewish converts like overrunning the prison system. Maybe that's like a new and thing. And they need rabbinical help. Get these people the help they need. There are stories about Jacob being in prison in Egypt yes. and dreaming about feasts and famines and then counseling the Pharaoh. At about the very stuff. least, I'm saying this. Sandler can add Kodak Black to his list of Jews we can claim. when he Are we good with that? When he performs that song, we've got Kodak Black. We've got Kodak Black. You can you can add that to the new update. Sandman, you hear us? You can add that to the new and update. I'm going to say this. If anyone wants to dispute Kodak Black's claim to Judaism, just look at what he's already doing so beautifully, complaining. That's a, a basic tenant and tentpole of our religion. Let him in. Get him a rabbi. Let him in. Get him some gelt. Stat. And we We're going to sign off. off on that. We'll Let's sign off on that, that for sure. Let's get off on sure. that. Let's walk off on that. All right. Uh, you guys, as we prepare for the high holidays, the Jewish New Year right around the corner, we wish you a good week as we get ready and ramp up into that. Kodak Black, get that rabbi. You guys stay connected, stay protected, don't get infected, uh, wear a mask. This is not a hoax. But we've got the jokes. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. la la